So we've just been into B&M and I think we might go sit on that. What about that bench over there, Kay? Should we go sit on there for a few minutes and have some of our fizzy pop? So I was surprised they let me film in there, but um, that was good. So we're just doing a little mini shopping vlog today. And in a few weeks when I've won the lottery, I can do a really big shopping vlog. No, I've decided this weekend it's my turn. I'm fed up of waiting. I think that's a good idea. Win all those millions, yeah? And tower up there. Scorching day. Let's show a little clip of time lapse. So we're just going to head down to Poundland. Need to get some wrapping paper in there. We don't tend to do cakes anymore. Do you remember when you were younger and you all used to get a personalised cake? And I remember Daniel had a Thomas the Tank Engine one, one year and Mark had Squash Buckle. You got Frozen, didn't you, I think it was. And each of those cakes, oh, and Perry got Sandcastle Water Park one with slides. And they were roughly about £70 each. And although it was nice for them when they were younger, I did start thinking, hang on a minute, this is 70 quid on a cake. It really is ridiculous. A day out, memories will last you a lifetime. It's better use than spending 70 quid on a cake. So you can get one of them vape thingies in there for four quid. I, I tried one once, one of them vape things, and it was disgusting. It was like smoking sweets. Not that I smoke anyway, but I used to. And it was absolutely disgusting. It was like smoking fruit pastels. <laughs> but I don't get the appeal to it, honestly. Well, I can't believe I smoked all them years. Has anybody been in that comedy club over there? I'm wondering, is it worth going in for a night out? What sort of acts do they have? Is it people well known or... Might have to pop in and check it out one night. Oh, I love that circus. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely need to go to that again. And do you remember that magician that we liked from Viva? High Jinx, that was it. Michael Jordan and his wife. Absolutely amazing. Well, they're at the circus. They perform there. They're really, really good. Dungeons if you dare. Oh, busy, busy day. I'm going to go in there next week and get some new trainers to work because I've worked that hard that my insoles have turned to nothing. Hopefully my boss is hearing that. See, I'm such a hard worker, my shoes are falling apart. <laughs> so I've just been in and checked and they said, yeah, no problems, I can uh, film in Poundland. Thanks to the very nice man. Come on, Kay. So we need to get some wrapping paper. Let's go this way. Excuse me, please. Oh, sorry. Let's go find the wrapping paper. Oh, I love these. I think it was that one that I had. Really tasty. I've had this one as well, I'm sure we have. Mmm, cheesy um, peanuts. Really good. Nice little selection. Another great shop though, isn't it? Now that's something that Daniel would probably like. Joker, Soaker, Helmet Spin. So I guess, yeah, it's a game and it'll land on somebody and they'll get wet. 
There isn't a price with it though. It's annoying when they don't put prices on things. I could see him loving that though. Rocket stamp launcher. Again, no price though. Right, let's find this wrapping paper. So I need to get back home because I've got to have time to wrap it all before he gets back from his summer camp. Okay, which is there. Right, so it's only like two things we're wrapping, isn't it? One thing, really, it's a scooter on a packet of balloons. No, yeah, the balloon thing as well. Um, Get the Harry Potter. Oh yeah, Harry Potter gift wrap up. That should be enough for the whole thing, shouldn't it? Three meters. <laughs> Justice for children, have you heard this? Oh look, they've got the wizard dress up set. It's a shame it's three to five, because Daniel would love that. He's a big kid, is my Daniel. Well, he's going to have a really good day out next weekend as well, so... He could go out and just spend an absolute fortune on toys and stuff that he probably won't even use or play with. Do you want to go on the South Stand check out, Kay? This is Yeah? Is this the queue for the South Stand? Yeah, it's the queue for the children. Oh, right, both of them together. Is that free? Is that free? No, no, is that broke? I don't think I've ever come in here and bought one thing before, ever. <laughs> this is the first time for everything, isn't there? Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Oh, madness. Let's get out. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. That sea over there looks so pleasing right now. I could honestly go and jump in it. Be nice and uh, refreshing. That's the word I was looking for. I had a drink a couple of weeks ago that a customer had told me was really nice and when she she ordered it I said oh that sounds absolutely disgusting and it was basically a pint glass half filled with dark fruit cider and then half filled with blue slush and I said to her that sounds awful she says no you really need to try it so I did oh it was so refreshing so tasty honest to god yeah she was right so thank you to whoever you were it's my new favourite drink now. But it's like when I first time I got told about cheese spread and Marmite, I went, ugh. But it was actually really good together. No, not ooh, it's good. There's a cash machine just there, isn't there? Well, you can go to the one just inside the door if you want. We should have called in and had a quick game of bingo. Kaylee's always winning at the bingo. Don't you? You always win at the uh, the bingo in there, the zingy bingo. Really lucky. I won 18 quid a couple of weeks ago. That was a surprise. And next week we're going to go to the Tempe bingo and have a few games. Uh, KK Crispy has asked us to go in there and film it, so I said, yep, no problem. I know they allow filming in there as well, I've asked them before. Um, but I've lost what I was saying now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in next week anyway, KK Crispy, and um, play the Tempe bingo on the front, and then there's the prize bingo round the back. So I'm going to go to both of them next week, have a few games, and see what I can win. I think the biggest problem with the prize bingo is choosing what prize you're going to get. There's just so many prizes in store and you literally go, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. It's so hard to choose, isn't it? So we've just got some cash out for little Daniel. 
so he'll get his scooter his water bomb set and some money in his card and bless him you know i'm so proud of him because he's only eight turning um eight turning nine and he said to me the other day he said oh it's my birthday in so many days he said but i'm celebrating it in so many days so he doesn't think he's actually getting any presents tomorrow he thinks he's just waiting until the week after to go on the day out and he didn't even bat an eyelid he was so sweet about it so it's what you want though isn't it you want to raise respectful grateful children so i know it's not much he's got in the morning but i'm sure it's gonna put oh oh dear very good handle eh i'm sure it's not um it's not much that he's getting but i'm sure it'll put a smile on his face and that's what's important isn't it that's what it's about to be fair when they were younger i used to go absolutely overboard on presents and i think a lot of parents all relate to this that you're busy working all the time you try and compensate by lavishing them on their birthdays and christmases and it's easy done we've all done it but i've learned to step back from it and i think the turning point for me was when on christmas day it took them two and a half hours to open their presents there was such the most ridiculous amount i found a present in your bedroom the year after that wasn't even open do you remember that so yeah i learned to cut back i'm not saying there's anything wrong with parents that do it it's personal choice but i just kind of realized that it wasn't a good thing to do and sort of turn to going on days outs and family time instead but it's what works for you as a parent isn't it we're not all the same it's like we haven't been going on holidays abroad and stuff but we've gone absolutely everywhere on days outs instead so each family's different and they're all perfect in their own way aren't they oh I was going to walk down the other back streets today down there instead should we go this way okay because we went down central drive last week in our video do you know i'll be glad to get out of this sun i feel like a loaf of bread that's been baked in the oven doesn't make any difference it's boiling hot in the house anyway yeah that's the thing with having a new build um they're designed to keep the heat in which is fabulous in the winter but right now absolutely melting that heat you walk through my house and honestly it's like you're work uh, working it's like you're walking into a furnace as soon as you open the door I feel sorry for all the people working on the pier today I really hope it's not going to be this hot tomorrow my boss is probably sat there watching this laughing shaking his head going it's going to be roasting <laughs> oh check the weather it's going to be hot all week and next week oh so. no you'll just find me in a puddle i'll be in the mop bucket <laughs> So the, uh, the situation with the little boy Archie, well, them, that was so, so sad, life. wasn't it? I don't really read about it much, but... I felt so heartbroken for his mum, and I can't blame her in a way for, for clinging on. I can see both sides of it. The NHS are not going to make a decision based on emotion. They're going to base it on, on fact of where the person's at in their health. A parent is going to just cling on no matter what really because it's their baby isn't it and then olivia newton john as well but you know what she's an absolute legend and she always will be i do believe she got cancer twice previously she beat it yeah she's she's gone but she's 77 so 
I think she's the one that's won there. She's lived a good life and gone as an old lady, so she'll always be remembered. I mean, Greece is just well, literally yeah, iconic, right. isn't it? Oh, for heaven's sake. Let's get a bit further down here. So yeah, Greece is um, iconic, isn't it? And always will be. It's one of those like Dirty Dancing and Pretty Woman and the Goonies. Do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> I love all those uh, all those classic films. You can't beat them. What's your favourite movie? Is there a film you could watch a hundred times and still want to watch it? So in our video last week, if you missed it, we did walk through um, Bonnie Street Market. Showed you a lot of what they've got on to offer. So we thought we'd go this way instead of Central Drive because I've done a few videos in that area. My eyeballs are sweating. I'm just swapping the uh, bag over from one shoulder to the other because it was killing. So I think it's time to walk back home, wrap up these couple of bits, and I can't wait to see his face. He'll be back about quarter past five, I think. Can't wait to see him. And I can't wait for next Saturday to go out and have some family time. I mean, we might do um, clip and climb maybe, and then go for dinner maybe to Frankie's or somewhere. Or the trampoline park. He likes both of those. But it is a shame that we couldn't go to Manchester because I had planned to go to the um, indoor snow centre. So we'll go again in a couple of weeks once the um, trains are running. We'll go out for a family day out and it'll also make an awesome vlog as well. Going sledging down the hill and I can strap the camera onto my uh, chest strap that's going to be some uh, good fun isn't it and I'm definitely the biggest kid out of all of them so oh look they do slushies there for 70p that's like small they have a small yeah but it's still the cheapest slush I've seen in Blackpool so it may be small but 70p that's right chocolate on the inside and all your barista style coffees available too. Step inside and join us, you'll be amazed. So they've just said there they do foot long chocolate eclairs. So that's called... Uh, TJ's Cafe and... Yeah, it's the amusement arcade on the same street as Bonnie Street Market. Then you come out and you're here just by Central Pier. All the hustle and bustle. That's a very, very cheap um, shoe shop, that shoe, shoe seller. You've got um, Christopher Higgett's Acker, the daddy. You've got his famous 99p burger shop there and prize bingo next to it. You've got a convenience shop here that I always forget about. That's a new show bar there called the Stanley. So they do shows, soul nights, comedy nights, tribute acts, house band nights, rock and roll, 80s, drag acts and karaoke. So that sounds like a fab night out, doesn't it? Oh, Anthony Prince. Oh yeah, Anthony Colesso, who does print, print, print. I can't speak today, what the hell is wrong with me? He does prints at Central Pia Show Bar and he's absolutely amazing. Oh, to see. There's uh, Christopher up there, King of the Slots, as seen on TV. 
and that's his uh, burger bar and retro arcade there but yeah he's left the building daddy's not here hello <laughs> yeah that's part of it as well and uh, the man you just saw waving there is beyond the edge he's got an absolutely brilliant youtube channel and he does film um chris in a lot of his videos so you definitely need to subscribe to him he's brilliant so i think we're going to have to um cut it off now okay come here love there's police um chatting to a lot of people down there anyway it's okay have you enjoyed our little walk about yeah it's been really good yeah it's been great so um hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway nice little shop out it was only a little one today um i was in bed all day yesterday poorly not feeling 100 percent today to be fair um so oh dear our um, saturday one next week will probably be a, be a lot longer yeah because obviously we're going to go out for daniel's birthday and um i'll also fit in some more shopping uh, because i've got the day off next week yes wow a saturday off yes a saturday off i have the best boss ever i'm so excited for my saturday off is perry off as well yeah Awesome family, day. family day out i can't wait all of us together um for a video so awesome. look out for the video next saturday so now it's time for me and kaylee to say bye bye i'm gonna go sit in the fridge <laughs> see you later guys bye. don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching bye, bye.